So they're making a bit of distance, why let them get away with it? For this video, we're going to talk about a uh, way of throwing your lead hook when you've got someone who's running back all the time. He stands there, I throw my one, two, three. <coughs> that works great. Now I go to throw a one, two. Oh, they're running away, right? And, <coughs> oh, man, they keep doing that. And see, Max is scared. So this time, we're gonna throw the one, two, and that's gonna put us in the position you should be in when you throw a cross. You don't wanna throw your cross like this. You want to turn your back heel out, your knee in, your shoulder through. And now that you're loaded this way, you've really set yourself up to throw a better hook. It also lends you the ability to drive yourself forward off that cross. So we'll do it kind of slow. I'll throw the cross. And he back, like, yeah, right, as if I can land a hook. Well, when you throw a hook, depending on who teaches you, they'll say you should turn over to here. At least you should drop that rear heel so that you can get some power on the hook. Um, if you are one of those that goes to this position, which is fine, I know some guys will say you'll get kicked in the leg, not really an issue for me. Um, you should go heel, then the other one lift. You don't wanna be doing that. I'm sure it looked pretty weird when I did it. But when you drive forward, you have to do it. You can't go one foot, then the other when you're in the air. So I've thrown that too. He's a little far away. I'll do as slow motion as I can. Again, you don't have to land here. This would be okay. So this time I'll try to put it together, just the two to the shuffle. And I'll go one, two shuffle and I'll try to do it very smoothly. I'll try. So they're making a bit of distance. Why let them get away with it? Yeah. Um, I want you to watch for the tendency to do this. Let's, yeah, I'll do it this way first. Okay, let's give you uh, this view here. What I did wrong <laughs> was instead of just shuffling up the line where it leaves me in a position to keep going and delivers the most power, I went like this, where I opened my stance up and then Max kicked me in the leg and he would. Um, so you don't wanna do that because then your energy's going this way but your punch is going that way. You lose quite a bit of power on your punch and it leaves you in a bad spot. So just make sure, you can have like a line between your legs and just make sure that before and after, that line's still between your legs. On the back end of that punch, you might be a little vulnerable. It's very committed. So I throw that shuffle hook. And yeah, oh man, like I, I, I've driven myself forward. It's not like you can just bump right back as easily as I can if I didn't fly forward. So there's a few things you can consider to get yourself back to safety. I might throw the hook and then roll right through it. So I landed the hook. A lot of people will, will block and counter with a straight or even another hook. So boom, maybe come up with a second one because now you are in range. You could roll. I think the roll is kind of easy just because it goes with the, uh, with the direction of the punch. But you can also, if you land clean and you don't turn your feet the way we just talked about a second ago, you can just get offline. So if you get yourself offline after hitting, you're far less likely to get countered. Um, and a little addition to that, if you really want to get out of the way after landing that, so just slip, let's do a little pivot. And now you're not only out of the way, you are off angle and really out of the way. We call that a shuffle hook. You can call it whatever you want, but just make sure you do it well. And if you're missing on your hooks, see if you can add that to your repertoire. Yeah.